Uskyldigheden er uvidenhed. I uskyldigheden er menneskeet ikke bestemt som ånd, men sjæleligt bestemt i umiddelbar enhed med sin naturlighed. Ånden er drømmende i mennesket. Denne opfattelse er ganske i overensstemmelse med Bibelens, der ved at nægte mennesket i uskyldigheden kendskab til forskellen mellem godt og ondt, bryder staven over alle katolsk fortjenstlige fantasterier. I denne tilstand er der fred og hvile, men der er par samme tid noget andet, hvilket ikke er ufred og strid. De der er jo intet at stride med. Hvad er det dag? Intet. Men hvilken virkning har intet? Det føder angest. Dette er uskyldte hedens dybe hemmelighed, at den par samme tid er angest. Drømmende projekterer ånden sin egen virkelighed, men denne virkelighed er intet. Men dette intet ser uskyldigheden bestandig uden for sig. Angest er en bestemmelse af den drømmende ånd og hører som sagdan hjemme i psykologien. Vagen er forskellen mellem mig selv og mit andet sat. Sovende er den suspenderet, drømmende er den et antydet intet. Åndens virkelighed viser sig bestandig som en skikkelse, der frister dens mulighed, men er borte så snart den griber efter den, og er et intet, der kun kan ængste. Mere kan den ikke, så længe den kun viser sig. Begrebet angest ser man næsten aldrig behandlet i psykologien. Jeg må derfor gøre opmærksom på, at det er aldeles forskelligt fra frygt og lignende begreber, der refererer sig til noget bestemt, medens angest er frihedens virkelighed som mulighed for muligheden. Man vil derfor ikke finde angest hos dyret, netop fordi det i sin naturlighed ikke er bestemt som ånd. Kierkegaard can be seen as having a philosophy that is life itself more than anyone else. His philosophy is a pioneer of existentialism that seeks to find oneself by dialectically asking and answering questions in the midst of various conflicts, anguish, guilt, and frustration. Kierkegaard focused on the identity and status of the individual buried in Hegel's philosophy of totality. Also, for him, who was a Dane as a Christian country in the 19th century, Christianity at that time was an issue that could not help but focus on the individual, despite the fact that Dane could become a Christian by receiving a baptism ceremony just because they were born in Denmark. In other words, Kierkegaard could not help but ask the question of individuality buried in totalitarianism and formalism. The concept of anxiety in the above quote is an issue that has been with him throughout his life. According to him, anxiety is different from fear, which always requires an object. Anxiety is personal. The questions this individual asks himself and defines himself are matters of concern in themselves. Therefore, this anxiety, which is using one's mind, is existential. This is because asking for one's location is like drawing a picture, like a little girl greeting her landscape to paint her picture. The disease leading to death that Kierkegaard talks about is connected to the despair of having to live with this anxiety for the rest of your life. Every human being has a self, an essential individuality. However, humans are in despair as they do not acknowledge or try to avoid their own inherent possibilities or they continue to make attempts to transcend their limitations and conditions. At this time, Kierkegaard says that decision and courage are needed in this absurd despair. By choosing to believe in God outside of absurdity, One must decide to stand alone before God like Abraham, who tried to sacrifice Isaac in order to escape despair. 